Smartle and Caster here with a quick video dealing with Classic Wow once more. Today we're going to be talking about the top five add-ons that I use for leveling so far. Not necessarily level 60, but close to, close enough where uh, I'm going to tell you what I used. <clears throat> you can use uh, any uh, add-ons you guys think is the best, but I'm going to go through the least top five that work so far for me the best. Getting up to level 60, 53. I about a week or so away from level um, 60 or so. Uh, without further ado, let's hop right into it. So when you're leveling up, the first thing it depends on your experience you want to play. If you're just want, if you're not playing the strict, no add-ons way of playing classic, then it's time to add on some um, add-ons. So the first one I added on is Questy. Questy is a um, quest tracker app, quest helper, and um, what's nice about it is it leaves these little um, little blips on the map telling you where to go. I have yet to figure out what these little lines do, but uh, ignore them. Um, and it's good to kind of, so it's good to have it because it can also show you where to go. So if you're at level 33 and go, oh, I don't know if I should go to Desolus or Stranglethorn Vale, you'll have the little explanation points and like, it'll show you potential quest hubs and where to send around your leveling. Um, it also t pretty much tells you like, you know, if it's a gear, it's a pickup quest, if it's a uh, a little bag, it's a loot quest, if it's a little sword, it's a kill quest, so on and so forth. The quest is very helpful and it has it throughout the entire world. Um, so for example, I have Beware of the Petrodax. Uh, I gotta kill a couple more of them, but <clears throat> anyways, it's uh, it's very interesting and it works quite well. Um, I've had a few issues with it and sometimes I wish markers would fall off, kind of like when it comes to this. Um, these are the gates of Encourage, which are already open on my server, so they haven't dropped off. Might need to do a quick update, but eh, whatever. Um, you can also turn Questy off by hitting hide, uh, which if you want to turn them off. And um, I noticed um, that <clears throat> I've, uh, it, it also puts the um, quest item next to the quest itself, which is very helpful. It's very similar actually to retail. Um, <clears throat> the next one I have on the agenda is actually, this is a very classic key type add-on, but I don't even know if they make it. I'm, I kind of want to put it back on, uh, retail. Um, but Titan Bar, Titan Panel. Titan Panel is essentially just a, a, a user interface hub that overlays the top of the, um, screen, but you can adjust it for the size or below or whatever, but I have mine up top. It tracks everything from, uh. You know, coordinates, experience, time to level, um, your bag space, anything with durability, how much gold you have, um, <clears throat> and uh, your loot type. Also, it, um, it, you can have, do plugins. So I have Atlas, so you can click Atlas and open it, so on and so forth, and your time and a couple other um, issues right here. So it's, and you can know what's cool about it is you can like. If you have Titan Gold, you can like reset it, like clear your database. So right now, the only person I have is this character at 1,300 gold. Not even level 60 yet. <clears throat> just saying, just saying. So uh, Titan Panel is very helpful. Just it just has some crucial information that I find is very helpful when leveling up, and just navigating World of Warcraft. It keeps everything clean and. Um, Everything in one spot, which is very nice. <clears throat> the next add-on that I think is very helpful and can um, actually, I think, help level up, depending on what you want to do, is Atlas Loot. So Atlas Loot is essentially a, um, an atlas. tells you all the raids and the level um, the leveling um, requ level requirements for that specific dungeon or raid. For example, like Wailing Cavern, 17 to 24. So 17 is when, so it's not necessarily the entrance level, but the level at which you can, it's probably acceptable to be going to. So like you can enter Wailing Caverns or Dead Mines at level 15. We probably really shouldn't enter Dead Mines or Wailing Caverns until 17. <clears throat> uh, and so what's cool about it is there's times where I'm like, I don't know what, you know, what dungeon I should be kind of looking for groups for. You open Atlas Loot and you're like, oh, you know, if you're level like 37. You can be uh, trying to get in Razor Friend Downs, all the Scarlet Monasteries, um, maybe our, uh, Razor Friend Crawl, depends on what you want to do, if you can get a group for that. You just look at the level range and you, know, you can kind of do it. 
What's also cool is if you're looking for gear, well, like what what drops the Wailing Caverns off? You know, mutant, mutants, whatever the hell his name is. Oh, I, I can use this for my warrior, or for whatever reason, or whatever. <clears throat> it helps kind of gear your characters up. It allows you to kind of go, kind of skip this dungeon. You know, if you've already done the quest and there's not much loot here, unless you just need raw experience, may not be a complete point to go into this instance. Um, for example, Zulfarak. I've already completed all the quests here. Um, do I need to continue? I've already got the vice grips. I already got the gloves that I needed. I don't need anything else from this instance except experience. So if I just want to go for strict experience, it's one thing. Otherwise, I don't need to continue going here. Um, so that is helpful. And what's also nice is it also outlays um, any potential questing quest bosses or bosses that um, have you know quests related to them. Um, for example, like Surgeon Blee has like that uh, gizmo that you need. Uh, the Divino Matic Rod, for example and whatnot and it also tells you what's in the trash and you can um if you hold uh control well, at least at least on my computer if you hold control you can dressing room the items <clears throat> the next uh add-on i think is very helpful for class especially for leveling up is bag on which i don't have on this which is kind of embarrassing but bag on which i have on my actual other gaming computer is um it consolidates all your bags. So, as you can see, this one's very disorganized. Sorry, I have two gaming computers, a little embarrassing. But, regardless, um, I'll put a picture in. Uh, bag on is very helpful. As you can see, actually, I think I have mine either disabled or definitely on my other computer. This bag is very disorganized. It's kind of hard to navigate. I have no cleaning methods. Um, you can, like, quick organize on bag on. It puts everything in one big platform, um, in one big window instead of having different bags all you have to do is open b or no my hotkeys b all you have to do is oh hit your hotkey it opens a bag right now for me you can change it in key bindings for sure uh for sure but shift b right now is what i need to do to open up all my bags with bag on you just hit the one button it opens up hey it keeps everything organized um and it's a very good app or uh, add-on to put in here the next critical one i think is probably one of the most important next to Questy for leveling up is Auctioneer, especially if you want to make as much gold as I did. So as you can see here, I have 13, uh, 1,366 gold. This is accumulated by just doing, um, just I pretty much list everything. If you watch one of my gold videos, I'll put the link in the uh, description below. Or you can also just go to my channel, subscribe, and find that video. Uh, is how to make gold uh, before you're level 60. But <clears throat> what's cool about it is it you know, opens up appraiser and you can list items and make money on them. Uh, I can do a more in-depth video on Auctioneer, but all it's going to help you do is um, instead of just vendoring everything, it's going to help you dump items in the auction house and make some sort of um, revenue off it because you do um, vendoring everything, you'll lose out on a lot of gold. You know, I had almost like 500 gold before I was level 30. And so stuff like that is uh, very helpful. And when having Auctioneer, it does all the hard work for you when doing um, undercutting. Because otherwise, if you're doing, let's say, let's do an example of <clears throat> manually doing it. So you do Plague Bloom, right? And then you'd have to sort it by price. And then you'd have to undercut that. Or I could just open appraiser, drop Plague Bloom in, hit the refresh button. Well, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Of course, the one herb that I'm trying to show you guys doesn't <laughs> work right. Okay, let's do rune cloth. Rune cloth should be working. So if you do rune cloth, right, it's uh, about gold a stack. If you wanted to undercut it, you'd have to look for the unit price and so on and so forth. But what um, this does, you can set different parameters to do it on. And so you can do like market value or you can just, you know, have high market value, fixed price, so on and so forth. Um, so this is not going to actually undercut completely, uh, especially if you have this unchecked. So if you have this unchecked, it's going to go to market value. And if you have this, it's going to balance market value with uh, undercutting. So you usually will sell, um, which is what you want, right? Uh, I'm not the greatest at uh, appraiser, but it still has worked, um, as this is living proof of that. <clears throat> so 
So those are the top five add-ons you'd probably want to get. There's a few honorable mentions. Uh, if you're a gatherer, you're gonna want, uh, if you're like a collector or a gatherer, right? So like if you're herbalism or mining, pretty much those only two, you're going to want to get the gatherer add-on, which every time you go and gather something, it's going to put a blip on your, um, on your map. You can also get load-ins that auto pre-populate your map uh, with other people's databases. I didn't do that because I didn't really care, um, but I did want to kind of know where I was going with it. Um, I've always always had issues loading in other databases um, of gatherers um, um, gathers information because you can load in um, a full uh, fully collected version of gather. Um, Again, mine always had issues loading, so I just stuck with the basic version where it just pings it every time I go and find something. For example, you know, if we go here, you know, here's a bunch of fire bloom. Um, pretty much any any place you go to and you collect, you're gonna find you're gonna find stuff. Now I got some Arthas's tears, Mountain Silver Sage, um, you name it. It's there, so it's a helpful app for gathers and. Uh, I think it's, it's good to have, and if you can load in the database, more power to you. Um, another honorable mention, it's very helpful, when, especially when like ref, uh, referencing uh, any online database, is a TomTom -tom app or some sort of coordinate system. Titan may have it. I'm pretty sure this one might be, I think this right here, and having this up here, it, this right here is an add-on. Um, so any some I think it's mine I think mine is TomTom. Tom. So any uh, any sort of coordinate system will be very helpful. Um, questing, especially if you're going to refer to an outside database. If you do have Questy, may not be required. That's why it's an honorable mention and not a top five. Uh, and then probably one last honorable mention would be any sort of class specific, and that may even trump the top five. Any class specific add-on that you may seem fit. Um, could be uh, beneficial and again may trump some things. I don't have any class specific um, add-ons on this character. I do have one that's very helpful, but not necessary. And I, uh, when you want to kite with like a warrior, you're, you're gonna want like swing timers, right? You want to know when the animal or the creature you're attacking swing and when you swing. So swing timers are helpful, but not necessary. Um, it is kind of necessary if you do decide to kite. Um, more of a warrior technique where you like would hamstring and then you attack and then you run off until your swing timer is ready then you'd go back in and so on and so forth. It's hard. You can look up YouTube videos on how to do it. I didn't do it because I'm a noob. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I mean those are the top five with a few honorable mentions. I will put those all in the description below on what my top five are in case you've you know skipped ahead or missed anything. Um, I, I've used uh, for my add-on collection um, Curse Classic WoW. You can get it also through Twitch Prime. Um, I think Twitch bought or Amazon slash Twitch bought Curse Curse Forge. Um, so all that's all housed in one um, one wizard or whatever you want to call it suite that allows you to um, download apps and auto installs it for you. Um, if you guys do need on how to install add-ons, put put in the comment um, section below. If you do need help, I'll make a video on how to add add-ons. I know it's a little late, you know, WoW's been, you know, Classic's been out for over a year, um, but I figured, you know, I have the platform now to make things on YouTube, so I figured I'd at least give you guys my uh, opinion on what I think are the top five, plus a few honorable mentions, and if you did enjoy them, they end up do helping you, uh, smash that uh, thumbs up button, subscribe button, and uh, even if you just enjoyed listening to this video, do the same. You know, I do appreciate you guys uh, sitting here watching it for, you know, 14 minutes, so I'm gonna get off here, but I uh, just one last time, comment, rate, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Once this uh, BS is over in the world, I'm going to start trying to upload more on a regular basis of a Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So if you're looking forward to that, you know, stay tuned. And uh, yeah, uh, download those add-ons and start questing. It's a little blooper right here. Um, I had bag on. It was just disabled on accident. Um, bag on. Bloop. Reload this bitch. There we go. I did have bag on.